I just need to know where they're at. Don't think about it. Don't talk about it. But if you know where the Illuminati headquarters is in Virginia, you know where they're located through spirits. Don't use a demon and try not to use spirits unless you already know because they all talk to them and they let them know and go back and tell them what you're asking or what you're saying. There's millions of spirits everywhere listening to everybody. Now the only way to make it to where they can't get near you is to be underneath, inside, salt water. If you're surrounded by a box of salt water, a spirit can't go down near you and listen to you. They hover above the earth. Now, a lot of them work for the devil, and they work for the Illuminati leaders in the little triangle to all seeing eye on the dollar bill. I just need to know where they're at. I don't have any weapons, they stop me from that. I have knives. But I just need to know where they're at. They chip people, and there's chip bots. I was supposed to get a chip and be a part of the Illuminati, and none of this would have been happening. Everything that's happening around you, the COVID, COVID never would have happened. It never would have happened. You need to understand what happened. I went to one of the Illuminati members, and they had a chip. People were listening to me, and there were spirits around listening to me, and they kept casting them and listening to me so they could, people could hear me. And when I was helping somebody, and I thought I was making Trump president, which I did, and he did win, and he admitted to it at the Georgia rally, a lot of people were listening, lots of people, and people threw the chip in the man's head that I thought was my best friend and he never told me. I just need to know where they're located, I need an address. From the time it takes from wherever I'm at to get to them, it'll be over in 30 minutes when I get to the near that door. There won't be anybody else involved. I just need to know their location so this can end. They're shooting my lip with a high-powered laser right now. Other than my body and destroying joints in my body, my lip, they're destroying. They took a corner piece of it off. I don't know if that'll come back. Pigmentation's gone. And they're shooting my lips with a high-powered energy. And it's tearing up my flesh along the corner of my mouth. And they're shooting my face with a particle weapon and shooting my face with lasers. And they're doing military flyovers and letting drones out over here at Camp Lejeune. I see them go over me and I know what they're doing because I have an incantation in my nose where the host can talk to me. Makes me sound crazy, doesn't it? And they ring my ear like tentinitis, and I have the devil's hook, and he likes me. And all he does is talk, and he wants to torture me. I just need to know where they're at. That's it, and this ends. If I don't go back to the way I was, I'm not going to help any of you. You don't seem to understand. I won't help any of you. I'll go somewhere in the middle. I won't help any of you. I have a lot of witchcraft and sorcery on me. They're shooting my heart. The devil grabs my heart and squeezes it. They won't let me work out and they're destroying my body so I can't take care of myself whilst trying to get individuals to attack me, holding their phone and texting people so they can pinpoint my location and shoot me with weaponry. There is a thing, a, a UFO that flies around the Pentagon was shooting at it with lasers when I drove by them. I know how to see. This is a window. This is a steering wheel. That's a light. These are eyes. This is a nose. I don't take LSD, and I'm a 40-year-old man. So why would I lie about these things? I just need to know where they're, where they're at. They're destroying my ankles. Destroying my feet. They're weakening my bones. They've weakened my nose. They're lessening my eyesight. They're damaging my ears. They're shooting my jaw to weaken my jaw so I can't speak properly. Hitting me in the lips. Weakening my hands, damaging my joints. Destroying the muscle inside my body. Putting a heat array on my chest and trying to weaken my chest. 
so they can break it apart to weaken the frame of my body so I can't work out and be super strong. So, given what's happened to my mother, how they put microphones in people's heads and they chip people, do you think I'm going to be nice at this end? See, right now, what they believe is I'm the angel that lets out the shout. I don't know who I am. I just know when I speak a certain way, I know things that other people don't know. And I say things a particular way that's very influential, and you remember it because it's said profound when they let me speak the way I can talk. Being the way something's said is the way something is felt and memorized, the better it's spoken. I just need to know where they're at. Every police officer I pass by or comes to me knows who I am. I haven't came past a police officer that didn't know who I was. Twice. One police officer came up to me, said, don't go back to Virginia. Explained to him he knew who I was, said, don't go back. Other one, I'm parked on the side, I'm flipped around, tried to harass me. I was that close from snapping on him. He said I was parked the wrong direction. He asked for my ID because they put a bench warrant out for me for a woman that I was protecting for a year and a half because she gets raped every single time I left her alone. They, they do something to her. And she doesn't know what she's doing because they blank her mind. It sounds crazy, but, but I, I loved the woman. Her name was Summer. They messed up my dinky toy, make it into a joke. My thing, they squeezed it down and they've been shooting it with a particle weapon and trying to destroy it genitals as well so I can't have any children and they're weakening my thing so what they're doing to me and they were shooting a laser through my ass yeah that's what they're doing to me and shooting it down my mouth into my throat so I can't sing because I enjoy it shooting me with weaponry into my brain so I can feel it and be damaged by it why people go around me and act like I don't know what's going on, but since I'm outnumbered and they let me know I appreciate it and it's all set and okay, boss, and all these people acting like they're nice when they're full of shit. I know who you are. I was Illuminati for about a year, year and a half, and I know the whole system. As they're shooting me in the shoulders and weakening my arms and my shoulders, they're shooting me all over and aiming at my legs, my ankle flexes like this now rather than tight. They're loosening all the tendons in my body. See, I'm getting real irritated. I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting tired of this country. Because I called California and one cop said to me on the phone, I asked him a question. He said, I'm not at liberty to talk about that. So there is no liberty. And that was the other side of the freaking country. And I drove across the East Coast through, I don't know, seven, eight states. And the same thing happens to me in every state with people surrounding me and follow me. I've never seen so many Virginia and Texas plates in North, North Carolina. Carolina. There's a lot of you, huh, that follow me around? Is it fun? Is it fun? See, because I'm getting irritated. Chesapeake Courthouse, you should have dismissed it. What's happening to summer with her getting raped and she doesn't remember with the multiple personalities what they do to her? And what's happening to me getting damaged? Because I'm so honorable, I kept going back and you kept fucking with me. All you had to do is dismiss it. I said, per se, motherfucker. I said, per se. I said, per se on the fucking document. And you know none of that shit's true. And then the shit with the courthouse with Summer, me threatening Summer, for one. I never threatened Summer. I told Summer something about her parents because they were keeping her from me. I have a videotape recording, not to be mean, of her sister supposedly pedophiling her kids. And she never wanted to talk to her sister again. But they do something with some brain wipe shit and she doesn't know what she's doing. And she goes, da, 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 da. and she starts talking in gibberish. I'm getting real irritated. I don't like this system. I don't like it at all. When I look around me, I look at these people, I see nothing but dead spirits and no souls. I don't really see any real couples. I just see the whoremongering around me, the way women walk like they're walking robots. It sickens me. And the children, when you make them look at me, and try to smile at me knowing that you're controlling them to do that, that disgusts me. Because I would have loved children so much. Hey, look, another flyover. What other drone are they bringing out? I mean, it's so much fun. 
here comes another one. Because I went to the gym in North Carolina and I could work out for 10 hours straight. And I look like Popeye whenever I work out. So I'm getting hit with every energy beam there is to hold me back. And they're shooting me in my collarbone and trying to destroy my bones and weaken my bones. Putting poison in my drinks because they know what I'm going to drink or what I'm going to eat. This is so much fun. Why? If I'm not important, then why? Mattis, we're trying to make scripture happen? Where are they? Where, where are they at? What's their address? What's their address? What's their address? What's their address? I'll go in there with the bomb strapped to my chest and say, la, 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 and fucking blow them up. Which I don't have any explosives. I just kick in the door and go in there with some forks. I just want to know where they're at. You police won't do your job. You just won't do your job. And you're so... High on power, you Illuminati members. You don't say anything. You drive by me. You don't speak. But you let me know and say things so I'm aware that you know who I am. But I'm not going to hurt you. For saying that, because I'm not like that, because I'm so nice. So, I got damage in my heart. Now, you shot me with an energy beam into my heart, and I felt it burn up, open up, and almost close. I felt that. I feel the particle weapon hitting my heart. Um, let's see. My digestive system is bad now. Uh, what else is wrong with me? Um destroying the cartilage everywhere in my body. I go into my mom's apartment, either somebody above me or above that. I hear footsteps running across. I mean, they're manifesting demons in there, conjuring them, or they run through or something. And I'm not crazy. So you can take this finger and put it in front of your face for the rest of your life if you try to say I'm crazy. I don't care what it sounds like. Because I got proof of it. Who gets a career diploma from Ashworth College? goes through the DCGS and gets finger, field printed, finger printed, to get a license private investigating and gets denied and said they're gonna put the college under investigation. Who does that? And who writes per se in a document when they have no criminal background to get a firearm and gets arrested because of something to do with medical that wasn't even true. Because when I used to get mad in that apartment and I used to call police officers to walk me up to the door, not being scared, I'd do it myself. But I felt awkward because I don't have the authority to do it, which I should have did it. But they have so much hindrances on my brain that I can't get angry to do things I wouldn't normally do that I'm always calm usually because of what they're doing to me. And they're weakening my whole body. And I really don't care about Slaves, where you move around women, I wouldn't touch any of them, no offense to you. But I don't really care to do that. If a woman doesn't like me and doesn't speak to me and show interest in me by desiring me or liking me for who I am, she can go a different way because I don't want a woman that's told to talk to me or be with me. Not in a million years. Never would I agree to that. Never. I don't care what they look like. Don't care. I just need to know where they're at. And I know more people are listening to this than what it's shown by views on my YouTube. You have to be, because some of these went viral on different web pages of web addresses where you put my YouTube video somewhere else where it doesn't show the views. And I know I'm well known because I'm surrounded by Illuminati members everywhere. And I don't like your system. So weakening me, Destroying me, making me impotent where I can't enjoy sex anymore because she used to say I was thumper because I had the libido for three to four hours. One girl said she'd like a molding of it. So you members are so jealous of me. You had to destroy my thing. And you're attacking my genitals. Destroying my face. Making it so I can't work out. Hindering me. Do you see this finger still up? Because you can keep it in front of your face for the rest of your life, as I said. Because I have no reason to lie. And as I speak, the way I sound, this is not the way I talk. I don't usually speak like this. I'm something of a holy roller. But I'm so mad. Which you can't see it because of the hindrances of my anger. But I'm so mad right now for what's happening to me. For no reason. No reason at all. None at all. Except for evil can kill Christians. Whoremonger. 
enslave human beings and manipulate their minds whilst they're destroying me because I can't have any money, I can't have a job, I have the devil hooked to me, always hurting me, doing things to me, getting in front of me. It's a spirit of power and it's sadistic and it enjoys it. And then you're doing military strikes on me with drones and following me with the following me around with the UFO. Hitting me with things as demons are surrounding me and spirits are following me around. And I'm getting shot with weaponry from the military. While all of you are around me acting like you're badass motherfuckers while I'm getting destroyed. You see the finger still? See you Chesapeake Courthouse? I'd have you all thrown in prison for the rest of your lives if I ever got power. Because you should have said dismissed. I don't know if you're chip bots or not. But if you would have did that, I would have been long, far away from this freaking, that from that state. And I wouldn't have went back. And that charge that you gave me for summer, knowing that summer is manipulated and has a microphone in her fucking head. And you think I threaten her or hurt her family when I'm something of a holy roller and all you police officers that come around me or in front of me when I'm driving. I don't know if you're chip bots or you just chipped. I was supposed to get a chip. And you know why I talk like this? Because I get hurt no matter what the fuck I say. If I'm trying to keep to myself and not doing anything, except trying to be simple and have a simple life, doing daily work, daily labor, you're always attacking me. And I can't feel what they're doing to me because they keep putting stuff in my drinks. So my body is numb. So when they're shooting me with stuff, I don't always feel it. So when I go to sleep in a vehicle and I wake up in my ankle, the tendon in my ankle is so loose because it has a laser on it, and they let me see the fucking laser in front of my face. People don't like me talking about this, knowing who I am, how I'm a holy roll. Right now, they're going after my shoulders. And they let me see what they're doing to me. And I didn't do anything to deserve any of this. None of it. So if you think I'm going to be okay with being a whore, or you think I'm okay with the whoremongering, or what you're doing to children and you're taking away free will, and the way you manipulate things and what you're doing to me, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I don't see one here. Because how is my ankles going to tighten back up? How is my dinky toy going to go back to the way it was? I chastised myself three or four times in my life for a year to three years. Almost four times I think I did. A year to three years in my adulthood. By choice. I've only been with a couple women in the past decade. Maybe a few. Maybe five, six. Not many. I don't think it's been many. Not many at all. I chastised myself. That's not the top of my, my priority list is to sleep around with women. No, I wanted one, one woman, so it didn't matter what my dinky toy looked like or if she was the most satisfied girl in the world because I'd love her and make love to her all the time and I enjoyed it. You all fucking dogs with your pink things hanging out in that fucking control room of the Illuminati. I fucking hate every fucking one of you. You fucking racketeered me. I'm going to say fucking some more because I'm so fucking mad. And all you fuckers do is fuck with me. And you're weakening me. All I want to do, all I want, the only reason I don't, if I would have been a police officer like I was supposed to or CIA or FBI in Florida and made Trump president, and he didn't, and you're, they didn't technically betray me, and they would have, I would have been yoking you fuckers up, yoking you all up. I would have had thousands of arrests. I would have been yoking you all up and beaten every one of you to the ground when you did certain things to me, I'd be beating you like rag dolls. I really would. And the only reason you get away with it could because there's so many of you, and I don't blame these peons. I don't really, I can't really blame the peons unless you touch me. But you do things in such an illusion where you don't do that. If you touched me, I'd beat you until my knuckles were coming out my hand. My flesh of my flesh of my knuckles being the bone was exiting the skin. I'd beat you all like a rag doll. Now, I don't look like it, but I don't care about pain. Some of it I do enjoy. I'm not a masochist, but I like it. So 
I don't care about pain. I was burned for four minutes. So my pain tolerance is maxed out. So I don't care, and that's what makes me a little scary. I don't care, and I'm strong enough to take the strongest person there is because of my intelligence. So if you got a throat, I'll exchange you and punch you in the throat, let you kill me, and I'll kill you too. Because I don't care I'm a Christian. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not suicidal, but I'm about sick of getting tortured. And then cops go around and harass me because I got to sleep on the fucking side of the road. Because I got drones following me to fuck around and shoot me. And I got the guy in my nose breathing getting all excited when I'm getting hurt and then he stops when they're not in distance as they're hitting me in my thigh. I fucking hate you Illuminati members. I fucking can't stand any of you. You're all fucking pathetic and I hope you all burn in the fires forever. Because if one of you would have told me where they were when I was in that apartment complex, I don't know if they were above me or not, I think it was most of the floors, I would have went up there by myself and I just need to know where they're at. That's it. Where are they located? What's the address? I'll walk there as they're shooting me with their drones real slow and go to the door with a hammer or a bat or some forks in my pocket. I just need to know where they're at because they're all powerful and they have a vaporizer machine. So why am I still alive? Why am I? And they're shooting me with drones, and I have the devil hooked to me. This is the truth. It's reality. I don't like this reality, red pill, blue pill. I'd rather stay with the blue pill and never take the red pill and know it's reality and go back to the life in 2015. But because I was intelligent, I got flagged as intelligent. And the people at the top, the ones at the top, saw me as a threat. And then somebody conjured the fucking devil and hooked him to me and he likes me and he's destroying my life and my body and they keep telling me I'm the angel that lets out a shout that's why there's birds always around me and I'm the only angel that comes down that does it personally and kills everybody that did this to him I don't know what's true or not when it comes to all of that they try to tell me I was true or Mazda good words good thoughts good deeds how are these for a good words is this a good jester because this would be a good deed if you go do this to yourself. Because I'm getting sick of this shit. Last night that police officer came up on me. If you would have taken my ID, and it's not a threat, but you know what you're doing asking me if I'm all right and okay. I almost snapped at you. And I know you felt bad when you left because you said just turn your vehicle around. That's the last words I'm gonna have with you. Now I respect the uniform because of laws. So much because of you, because you're in that uniform. So I respect laws. Laws of God and laws of the land. I respect them. But I almost fucking snapped. I was that fucking close from snapping. Because I've lost about that much of my dick. And it doesn't look the same. Lost about an inch and a half of it from them shooting me in the dick. That's all they kept doing. Heat array on my dick. My dick's on fire. I'm going to say dick. My balls heating it up. I can smell my semen to my nose because they're cooking my dick and my balls. And they're shrinking at my dick. I'm a 40 year old man. How am I going to recover from that? Because I'm, I'm pretty intelligent and I've studied some things and I don't know how my dick's going to go back to normal. I am a man. This is not for children. But I am a man and I was content with who I was. I was never very big. But I was happy with who I was. I didn't compare myself to somebody who was three times bigger than me, had a nicer body, or is better looking than me. Because there's a lot of you men like that. Or had a better dinky toy than me. I'm sure it's possibility of a lot of you did than what I did have, but I was content with myself. But you're such a sadist ass motherfuckers that you enjoy torturing me so much, going around me, driving around me, acting like nothing's happening, why my mother's being manipulated. My sister don't like me no more, but she knows I'm telling the truth. My other sister doesn't want to come near my mother or me or my sister because she knows something's going on. She, she keeps to herself. I can't get near my son. 
He's being tortured at that bald eagle's boys camp. Every one of your names on that paper talking bad about my son. I would see the flesh ripped from your body with glue and a plastic bag over it so you don't die. And let you live like that for the rest of your life talking bad about my boy. My boy was perfect before you sent him to that boys camp and manipulated him there because Joe and Melissa didn't want him there anymore. You people that messed with my boy you better hope I never have the authority to come back to all of you. Because I mean what I say when you mess with my kid. You don't mess with children. You don't mess with somebody's kids. I don't know if Logan's mine or not, but that's his brother. And he has brothers and sisters. You don't mess with children. I don't care how evil you are. The penalty is a suffering and pain that you need not know until you know it if I get to you and find out you did something to my kid. I'm not messing around when it comes to my boy. My son was always happy, always smiling like me. And he was smarter than me when he went back to Pennsylvania when I brought him there when I thought I was opening a restoration company and people started to betray me and backstab me because I was helping with the Trump election. If you mess with my kid, I don't care if I'm in a wheelchair or my teeth are falling out of my face. I'll gnaw you with my gums and I'll find some way to do something to you in the future. I'll come back to you because I got all your names and all those notes that you've been writing about my kid. I got all your names. I don't care where you go on this planet. I will hunt you down and find you and make you suffer and cry in a room with just me and you. And so the pleasure that hits my ears is the sounds of the cries that you come out from your mouth. As your tears hit the ground, I'm gonna catch them with